Hello, I'm Vicki Addison and welcome to your weekly PeminaValleyOnline.com news video update. Here are a few of your top news stories from the week of January 10th to the 16th. Next week, the Winkler Arena will be home to the 2015 Provincial Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Co-chair Louis Tangay says there's a great level of excitement for the event, adding the region really came forward to fill the event's volunteer needs. He notes the rink transformation is underway and shares some teams have emailed the committee expressing their excitement about coming to Winkler. The Scotties runs January 21st to the 25th. Members of Morden City Council took part in a tour recently of the Brandon YMCA. It's all part of a feasibility study being conducted to find out whether a facility like this would be sustainable in the region. Weeb says the tour gave them a good idea of what kind of facility they could offer in the Pemina Valley, and he adds because of the positive response from community members in the region, they intend to continue this pursuit. Staff, students, board members and parents were all invited to a Western School Division Community Consultation Wednesday. The evening is becoming an annual event for the division to help them stay connected to the community and find out how they're feeling about the education system in Morden. Topics discussed around the tables included diversity and equity, invitational schools, meaning how they make their schools more inviting, student environment, personalized learning, and anything else that needed improving on. The past year was another strong one for the MSTW Planning District. Board Chair Henry Seaman says overall development reached $107 million. Seaman says the region experienced a decrease in residential permits issued last year and an increase in other sectors. He says it's a good thing to see commercial, institutional and industrial development pick up as those were areas that were lagging a bit in the past number of years. Seaman says they're getting some mixed messages as to what to expect for residential in 2015. He suspects there'll be quite a few starts early on, but whether it will continue will be more of a guessing game than in other years. The Winkler Fire Department responded to 25% more calls last year than the year before. Fire Chief Richard Petzold says they responded to 150 emergency calls compared to 117 in 2013. 99 calls were within the city of Winkler, 43 in the arm of Stanley, including mutual aid assists with Morden, and there were eight mutual aid calls outside the area. The department dealt with one major fire at Gateway Resources and a number of smaller residential fires. Petzold notes the leading cause of residential fires were cooking related. From fleece to final product, a Miami school grade 6 teacher is using wool spinning as a hands-on way to connect her class to the social studies curriculum. Elaine Owen spent most of last summer procuring several spinning wheels, carters and other pieces of equipment. Students are receiving an authentic experience from cleaning the freshly shorn fleece to knitting a variety of items. She adds wool spinning helps students value how hard life was when settlers first arrived in Manitoba and gain an appreciation of what the first pioneers have done for us today. And those were a few of your top news stories from the week of January 10th to the 16th. For more information on these and other local news stories, go to PeminaValleyOnline.com. I'm Vicki Addison. Thanks for watching.